Only one minute left. Oh no, I'm gonna come back. Okay, my mask is gonna take it off. I'm gonna back off. I don't know how those things are tracking from so far. I think I use a shotgun for close range. Throw an arc pull. Get some extra some free damage there. Let's use that rampage to manage to get that team in my baby. Pretty weak, pretty weak. I might have to warm plus here. I can get some more. What the? Before I get team shot at, try and get another one. Now let's back off. This guy's gonna challenge, maybe? No, he's gonna go for the rest. We're gonna bait that. He's still one shot. We're gonna force him to go on the left side. Behind me on the right side, I'm gonna turn around. There's another guy in front of me. Hey, what's going on guys? It's me for Oswald. I have a new video for you guys. We're going to be playing around with the ringing nail auto rifle. So let's take a look at the perks first. We got precision frame. We got short zoom and the long zoom option. We're going to go for the short zoom for the increased handling speed. Plus the PVP maps are pretty close range. We got an ally magazine and a pendant mag. We're going to go for the increased mag size. We got a PVE perk known as shield disorient. Energy match shield explosion disorients nearby combatants. Now it's a pretty good perk in PvE. I tried it out myself and I liked the effect it had. It would stun enemies for a pretty good amount of time and the radius was pretty noticeable. Now pretty useless in PvP, uh, but thankfully Rampage is pretty good. It helps uh, increase the TTK and just help me get the uh, next kill even easier. Easier. Now we have handling mass work, not bad, and obviously we got that sexy black armory shader, and that's about it for the weapon. Uh, take a look at my loadout. We're gonna be using warm house so we can dodge and get our health back and re-enter the fights Obviously, this is my build. Just a real quick look over the stuff Let's get into it clash. All right, here we go. We got clash on Vostok Now a lot of people don't really like this map, but with the new meta I kind of have grown fond of it because of the open lanes I could get some pretty good primary battles and not really that many shotgun battles We got a couple guys on this side of the map so we can connect some air shots. Let's back off. We managed to pick one off I kind of want to go for the flank, but instead I'll just be patient Let's see let's take a look here one behind me Nice he managed to kill me. I left him one HP though if our teammate can pick that off, nice, and I just float away. He's like, I'm good. Alright, I don't know if I want to play caves too much. Uh, a lot of the attention is really going to be towards caves. Just throw a grenade in there, see if we can get a tag. 
That's a grenade launcher. Unfortunately, I'm the one that dies to it. I don't even know how I didn't manage to kill these guys. I threw an arc bolt and made a combo with the melee. All good. A little bit of a slow start. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out here, get some momentum. Let's go ahead and use this head glitch because it looks like these guys might want to push. I do have a shotgun, so I'll be able to get a couple picks. Let's get some extra special. And then I'm probably just going to ape in here. Oh, I'm not getting any tags. Hold on, we're fine, we're fine. Let's not panic. Let's just make some plays here. I still want to clear the tunnel. We're going to push this guy too. Let's help our teammates out. Do some team shots. Another guy in front of us. One behind us. Why? Oh. He just ignored my teammate and jumped to my face. You see, I, I need to pay attention to myself. I'm doing what I'm not supposed to be doing, which is going into cave. Now, I'm not looking for shotgun battles. I could easily get those if I just went cave over and over and over. But obviously, we're not really interested in, in a shotgun video. We're interested in seeing what this bad boy can do in primary engagements. But I think I already made a permanent kind of impact on the game where majority of them are just going to keep going cave. They're just going to keep following cave unless I manage to slay out on a different part of the map and force these guys to focus somewhere else. I think I'm so weak. I can't believe that. That's another one down. I think I was pretty one shot, but I don't think it's going to challenge me. Let's go ahead and challenge this open lane here. Make some headshots. Let's go ahead and regen our health. We'll throw a grenade in case this guy wants to challenge. No tags. Get this guy off. We can find another one across. Oh, we're getting some really good tags from that far. Not bad range on this thing. Not bad range whatsoever. There's a guy on the left side here. Might have to use a shotty. Yeah, we're gonna trade. I think I shot a little bit too early. Kind of panicked because I saw that he was running at me with a shotgun too. So usually, from my experience, people always just map me as soon as they shoot me. And I didn't want to trade, so I wanted to get my first shot and just hope for the best that I got a one-shot kill. Doesn't always work out. Sometimes it does though. We'll just AR spray this guy and then switch to a shotty. Yeah, we got some power ammo behind us. I guess we'll pick that up. The team has got that covered. One ahead of us. Might have to shotgun rush this guy. There's another guy behind us now. Ooh, that was a really good grenade. He's gonna have one man smash me. That's fine. We're still up the lead by six points, and I just got my arc staff, so it's gonna be about time I pop a super here. Let's challenge this guy out to an AR. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, so we managed to pick up a three piece, four piece, and I got shot it through. I'm not sure what happened there. I think the visual effect of the Arkshider spin was not letting me really tell what was going on. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I saw three guys and then I didn't kill one of them, so I have to keep going after them. Alright, we picked that off. Let's throw an Arc Bolt there just in case. Nice, I got a tag. Oh, there's another one. I kind of reloaded and didn't expect I got a challenge. Got some crits on this guy. Let's challenge a long range. One behind me. Yeah. Gotta react. I did the, the melee animation, hoping I was going to get a couple tags on those guys in front, but it's fine. We're up by four. Let's see if we can provide some support here. Kill this Stormcaller. Nice. Now we're going to use this height advantage with our AR. We could probably get a couple shots here on the Sunbreaker. Maybe scare him off. Pop on this height advantage again. Let's back off. Nice. We helped our teammate out right there. Let's see if we can go scoop that orb up. Nice! Look at that other orb. That's gonna help us get our next Arc Shredder. I want to pop the Striker, that's our teammate. Ooh. They gotta just focus on me rather than the Super. Got a couple tags there, another couple tags here, another couple tags there. Help our teammates out. He wouldn't have gotten those kills unless we provided some support. And I wouldn't have gotten those defeats if I didn't help him out. Oh damn, we got him. Spectral Blaze. That Spectral Blaze is pretty rough to cancel. He might be chasing me as well, Hex. Best bet is just run forward and see if I can engage a shotgun battle here and tr trade or pick one off. Okay, that's fine. He's scared, I think. He's about to run out. 
So that worked out really well for me because I managed to pick one off. Throw a grenade, see if we can get a tag. That guy might outgun me. Let's use my warm house here so I can rechallenge. Nah, I was too weak. It was a different player. All good. I do have my Arc Strider and I think they might have a Goldie or a Blade Barrage, but that's okay because I have my Deflected Thingy. Alright, let's see if we can find more than one target here. Team is getting chased. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I was getting ready to fucking turn on the uh, the blade barrage, but it was too far. And once I turned around, I was like, all right, there's nothing there. I probably didn't have enough super energy to really deflect it. And because I made that decision, you know, the other guy had a clear shotgun shot on me. It was a risk I was willing to take, you know, for the play. You never know. What if I deflected that? I would have been like, that's worth <laughs> I would have made the savage play. So we get a couple tags there. No. Hope sure the shotgun here. Another one. That, went, that guy was weak, so we went for the shotgun map. No shield, your shotgun usually does a lot more damage. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. Use our warm husk for some health. Recover. Hit fire this guy, and then we're gonna go for the melee. Turn around for the guys on the right side, and then the cave. Nah, wasn't able to shoot quick enough. He reacted faster than me. So right there, I had watched my radar. Uh, you know, before I engaged the first guy in front of me in tunnel. And then when I turned around, I knew exactly I was going to have somebody either on the right side cave and on the left side, and I had to be ready. Sometimes nobody's going to be there because nobody pushes, but it's good to be prepared just in case they do make that push. I'm going to push this with a shotgun. Um, using the AR here. I'm one shot. Oh, rip. I didn't get to trade. Okay, we just need a couple more points and we win this game. We're halfway over super. I don't think I'm going to get another one before the game's over. Yeah, this main, the whole game kind of focused around playing cave, it looks like. Kind of unfortunate. Like I said, I wanted to play this map mainly for the primary battles, but it's all good. Looking at my radar every time I want to challenge, especially in cave. Because you never know, somebody can flank you really easily. We got a guy on the right side. Get a couple attacks, might not be able to pick him off. Yeah, we'll have to 1 HP. Um, do I want to go for the flank here? It would be ideal, but I can win my shotgun battles here if I just push. I could not ask for a better victory. That's GG. Got that guy too. That was a good game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the score. Hard fought victory, Guardian. Ooh, 46. We got an 11 streak. 7 multi, 8.4k damage, and 3.83k AD. Not a bad match, man. Me and Selkie slayed that other team. That was some teamwork right there. GG. Alright, well, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you drop a like to support the video. And don't forget to subscribe since we're going to be hitting 30,000 subscribers pretty soon on the channel. And I'm super happy about that. I'm super thankful for all you guys' support. But, um, just a couple thoughts on my head about Black... Uh, the black armory so far not really what i expected uh, i kind of wanted some new stuff to do but i'm not really like disappointed because i've been paying attention to the things uh bungie has been saying and the way they're promoting this uh annual pass it's supposed to be kind of like in-game content sprinkled around throughout the weeks months and stuff like that just to get us give us something to do and you know in my head i was like all right you know it's just gonna be some other stuff to grind and eventually there'll be some new stuff to do like the raid but um man i have to grind a lot of the old stuff just to really kind of enjoy myself in the forge because the forge was pretty high in par level first two waves are not that bad but once you get higher up the power level i'm like 613 or something like that it's a lot more enjoyable so i like that i actually had fun playing that i'm um, looking forward to getting some new guns um and also getting raid ready, so that should be enjoyable. Maybe get some content and some of the new weapons and stuff like that. But yeah, just a few thoughts on the top of my head. I'm kind of disappointed that the sandbox didn't really get that many updates for Crucible. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any new Crucible maps and stuff like that. So we'll see. Hopefully we hear some more information. But in the meantime, I'll try and get some more gameplay out for you guys. Peace.